The Rochester Board of Education voted 5-2 to two in favor of a plan to close several schools in the district and reconfigure many others to address a declining school enrollment. Jatira Marsh attended the meeting and has the story. Jatira. Teresa, throughout the meeting, board members stressed that this was indeed a difficult decision as they listened to many heartfelt pleas to vote against the plan. Moments before the meeting started, staff members of school number two came in chanting. Third grade teacher Rachel Feltman stepped away from the crowd to share why they say closing their school isn't in the best interest of their students. Our fear is that our children are going to be absorbed into schools where they're unfamiliar, causing trauma to their well-being and disrupting their lives. Some members of the board say they were moved to vote against the plan because of these concerns and those expressed by others. So I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I'm just not comfortable right now. And so, you know, I have to just go with that. And I'm just going to say it's going to be a no for me this evening. Others say while they heard the concerns of the students, teachers, and parents, they ultimately supported the plan to close 11 schools in the district. A majority of the board members agree it's needed due to a significant decline in student enrollment. I'm going to vote to support, my vote is a yes to support this um, plan. A reconfiguration plan can't just reconfigure our schools. Our resources as a district should be expended as close to the classroom as possible, and that is what improves student outcomes. So the vote for me tonight is going to be a yes to the plan. Thank you. Following the vote, Superintendent Carmine Peluso released a statement saying the decision was a challenging one, adding in part, quote, it was not a choice made lightly. Rather, it was made with a heavy heart and a deep sense of responsibility. He goes on to say, we're determined to transform this district to create better opportunities for our students and prepare them for a promising future. In the studio, I'm Jatira Marsh. Teresa, back to you. All right, Jatira, thank you. District leaders say they will work to make sure this is a smooth transition for students and faculty who are affected. The plan takes effect next school year. For a complete list of school closings, visit our website at rochesterfirst.com.